Hi guys, welcome to this special episode of the Climate Economy from the Hindu. I'm your host Kunal Shankar. I'm out and about here in Chennai by the Marina Promenade because simply at this time of the year in the city is the nicest. The weather hovers in the mid-twenties, people are out about, there are lots of cultural events and frankly by the ocean the breeze is nice and the air is relatively fresher. Well, not quite so for my colleagues in Delhi. You might have been reading the news about the graded response plan in that city. Well, why is this so and what contributes to it? According to the real-time source contribution study in 2021 by the Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology, more than half of Delhi's air pollution is vehicular. Another 2021 study by the Energy and Resources Institute says that almost half of the 2.5 particulate matter pollution in Delhi's air come from vehicular emissions. Therefore, addressing to reduce air pollution in Delhi immediately also addresses health and economy. I'll let my colleague Sapparno Ghosh take over from here. Right, thanks Konal. Hi, hello and welcome to this special episode of The Climate Economy and my name is Saptaparna Ghosh. Today we are here in the national capital, Delhi. If you're wondering why am I being unusually upbeat today, that's because the air that I'm breathing is just polluted today. It's not very polluted, it's not severely polluted, it's just polluted. Now, before you think of it as a failed attempt at sarcasm or anything of that sort, let me just tell you that shooting this same video a week back would require me and my camera person to wear a mask. Now, had it been been a month back, well, let me break it to you that we wouldn't have been shooting this video at all. That's because the air quality in Delhi was severely polluted. But this video is not about how bad or worse the pollution in Delhi has been. This is about the economic fallout of this pollution in the national capital. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the special episode of Climate Economy. So how much has pollution costed Delhi economically? Unfortunately, the exact figures aren't available for this year. But let's draw on related data for context. According to a World Bank blog, in 2019, India faced economic losses of 28.8 billion due to loss of output from premature deaths and 8 billion from morbidity, both of them being attributed to pollution. This together makes up 36.8 billion US dollars or 1.36% of India's GDP. In this episode, our focus begins from November 18th, when Delhi initiated Stage 4 of GRAP. GRAP Stage 3 and 4 restrictions included bans on construction and demolition activities, the operation of stone crushers and other associated activities. Additionally, BS2 and 4 light motor vehicles as well as trucks were restricted from entering Delhi. Such measures forced daily wages and gig workers to make a painful trade-off. Protect their health, keep their jobs or face unemployment. This brought inequality to the forefront of Delhi's economic challenges. It's actually a very serious issue and the equity issue will have to be understood from different angles. One, that the poor, vulnerable, low-income groups, are, because they are poor, they have nutrition challenges, so their exposure to air pollution increases their health risk a lot more than uh, for us, okay, because they are then more vulnerable to a range of diseases. So health cost for the poorer section of the society is much higher. That's one. Second, because they're outdoor workers, and so during smog days, when it's very high pollution days, given the outdoor nature of their work, okay, their exposure is very high. So whether a gig worker, construction worker, person driving an auto, they're 
outside, continuously outside. Not only being the capital, but also being in North India, this also coincides with the festive season. The, all these things are happening somewhere around Diwali, Diwali and sometimes it is also going to uh, um, uh, going till uh, you know when actually you start buying or going out for uh, um, Christmas, you know, the year end, all those festive seasons. So these festive seasons are getting impacted. The impact isn't just restricted to workers. It's bad news for the exchequer as well, as rising health costs, subsidies and insurance claims place additional burdens on public funds as well. Meanwhile, Delhi's middle class faces its own set of challenges. A working paper by the World Bank highlights that pollution impacts productivity, especially in physically demanding sectors like manufacturing. Beyond this, pollution reduces cognitive abilities, decision-making capacity and educational outcomes. The report also states that sustained exposure to pollution can result in year-over-year -year reductions in GDP. Supply chain disruption also. Because if we look at the manufacturing or the industry basis, in a very broad macro sense, then of course there are certain areas where in fact things will get delayed. Because of pollution, you know, some truck driver may be... Uh, running late mm, yeah. or may have fallen sick mm. and instead of reaching Delhi, mm. probably now stationing at Mirat, let's say. Right. You know, I'm just giving an example. Mm. And in his truck, probably it can be anything. I mean, if you just go around, just talk to anyone in the city today and ask them, especially during winter, how many family members falling ill, coughing away, the the respiratory conditions that are just not going away, the amount of trips to the healthcare center that they have to make, the children falling sick, absenteeism in school and colleges because of that sickness, right? It's common for all of us, right? And that is the immediate impact. To summarize, the economic impact of air pollution are extensive and multi-layered. However, the way these challenges are experienced varies significantly. Take air purifiers, for instance. Once considered a luxury, they are now a necessity in many Delhi households. And the longer term impacts are different. The more metabolic diseases that are getting impacted by air pollution. And then even though we can have the option of working from home, but don't think we are that safe because you cannot keep yourself confined in a bubble. And even your indoor air quality is impacted by outdoor air quality. Yes, you can buy an air purifier, but air purifier is not the full solution because it is just kind, it is, it can work for those who are very vulnerable. Someone who's actually suffering from chronic respiratory condition, asthmatic condition to give them some relief. But for you and me, it is not the solution. First of all, you are moving continuously between different micro ecosystems. Amid these challenges, it's worth noting a crucial insight from a 2023 World Bank report. The World Bank report highlights that the positive effects of reducing air pollution far outweighs the economic cost of mitigation. Cleaner air leads to better well-being, reduced morbidity and fewer premature deaths, making air pollution control an economically worthwhile goal, especially in high pollution regions like South Asia. Delhi recently experienced a health crisis that disrupted daily life. Sadly, the worst may not be behind us. As we move forward, the critical question remains, how do policy makers balance mitigation with relief? More than opportunity cost, we call it in economics as a trade-off. It's a very bad trade-off. You know, it's a, it's a very cruel and bad and very harsh trade-off for all these workers. Both the daily wages who are not within the gig workers, quote unquote gig workers ambit, and also the gig workers. So obviously, you know, if I am a gig worker and I have to run around in my bike in the streets of Delhi when the pollution level is God knows how much, you know, beyond 400. And this year, in fact, some people were saying that it actually crossed in many places 900 or even 1000 or something like that. Now they lose their earnings. 
Now, Delhi government does have a program to compensate them, but this is a lump sum one-time compensation and a small amount that really doesn't help. And then the, when the payment is going to come, they don't even know. But clearly, this is hugely disruptive for construction workers, for truck drivers, but trucks are also stopped at the border, right? So we really have to see. Now, uh, here the challenge is that Grab cannot become a norm. As Delhi braces itself for future winters, it would be prudent to address air pollution because it at once addresses climate mitigation, betters lives and livelihoods, and spurs economic growth. That's it from me on this episode of the Hindu's Climate Economy. We have been overwhelmed with your responses and comments and therefore have set up an email, climateeconomy at thehindu.co.in. That's our new email. If you could write to us or better still, record an audio or a horizontal video clip with your comments or question, we will try our best to address them. Thank you and bye for now.